Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about something called the counting principle. So what exactly is the counting principle? Well the, well, the counting principle is a way to figure out the total number of ways different events can occur. All right, and actually I gave you the definition right over here. So why don't you underline that? So the counting principle is a way to figure out the total number of ways different events can occur. All right, so let me just give an example. So over here it says, how many different ice cream cones can be created from three different sizes and four different flavors. So again, imagine you go into a, a restaurant and they have three different size choices and then four different flavors. Well, let's say we have a size that's small, medium, and large. Well, each one of these sizes could be paired up with four different flavors, right? So it could be a, a small and then a one, a small and a two, small and a three, and small and a four, right? So that right there, there's four possibilities. But the medium could also be paired up with, with the first flavor, and then the second flavor, and the third flavor, and the fourth flavor. So that's four more possibilities. And finally, we have the large. That could be paired up with the first flavor, and the second flavor, and the third flavor, and finally the fourth flavor, right? So that's another four possibilities. So now if I add these together, four plus four plus four gives us a total of 12. Now making this little tree diagram is actually a, really a big waste of time. There's a much faster way of doing this. And the way you, you can do this quickly is just to multiply the different outcomes. So for example, we have a small, medium, and large. That's three. And we have four different flavors, right? So when I do three times four, we get our answer of 12. All right, so multiplication is key when, when you're dealing with the, the counting principle. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, uh, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with these practice problems. So the first question says, how many different outfits can be created from four different shirts and five different shorts? Well, again, to use the, the, the kind principle, all you do is multiply four times five, and we get an answer of 20. So when you have four different shirts and five different pairs of shorts, you actually have 20 different outfits. All right, the second one says, a kid's menu offers six different meals, three different drinks, and three different desserts. How many possibilities are there if one is selected from each category? So again, this time we have three different categories, right? So we're gonna multiply six times three times three. And when I do that, well, three times three is nine, and nine times six is 54. So there's 54 different combinations from the three different options on, on the menu. All right, how'd you do?